they actually gave Darulodon an evolution. Today I introduce to you Archiludon. Being a steel and dragon type with a nice 105 HP, 130 defense, 125 special attack, and 85 speed, this thing hits incredibly hard like a frying pan to the dome. He also got a brand new signature move called Electro Shot, where it is a charge move that is base 130 power. And while you're charging, it boosts your special attack by one. What makes it even better is if you are in the rain, this move doesn't charge at all, which makes this thing a complete monster. Stick around to the end because I'm going to show you the true power of Archiludon in the rain. Welcome, welcome, welcome back everyone to another live Pokemon Scarlet and Violet Wi-Fi battle. How the heck are y'all doing today? Listen, man, today we have a battle against Dylan in an amazing OU mixed Wi-Fi battle with our Electroshot Archiludon team. Be sure to head into the description below and join the Discord for a chance to take me on in a battle. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We have a goal of 100 likes on today's video, so help us out by leaving a thumbs up. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into the team preview against Dylan. All right, so as you guys can see on your screen today, we're going to be taking on Dylan in a nice and powerful OU mixed Wi-Fi battle in the Indigo Disc DLC. And today, Dylan has a very... I'm going to say OU standard-ish team just because uh, without, I mean, obviously Fluttermane is Ubers. However, um, he has a lot of Gen 6, or sorry, Gen 9 Pokemon. He has a little sprinkle of Ursaluna in there. But today we're going to be using our uh, Raging Bolt Rain team that we built. Now, it doesn't really look like a Rain team. However, we have uh, Rain Dance on Swamper, who's going to be setting that up. We have uh, Electroshot, uh, Ar Cheladon. We have uh, Thunderclap, because we're about to, you know, clap those booty cheeks on Dylan's team, uh, and then just basically spin, rapid spin, uh, Excadrill, we have Dragon Dance, uh, Scrafty, we have Sticky Web, uh, Galvantula. Speaking of Sticky Web at Galvantula, I kind of don't want to lead him because he's probably going to lead off with the Glamora. So you know what? If he's going to lead off with Glamora, I'm going to lead off with Excadrill. The reason I want to lead off with Excadrill here is because I can go for an Earthquake on that thing and have a great time, and uh, he can't Earth Power me because I am going to be Air Balloon. So you know what? That's who I'm locking in with. Without further ado, let's go and jump into the Wi-Fi battle against Dylan. All right, so the boy Dylan's gonna lead off with Chunk, which is going to be the Glamora. Now, this is pretty much a good move for us just because uh, we have a chance to get up some stealth rocks however i kind of want to go for an iron head flinch now i am max speed on this excadrill aka excadrill because it, we have an extra wow i can't even say it we have an extra trill excadrill i used to say this all the time back in the day and uh you know i'm just you know spitting rhymes right off the dome so uh let's see let us see let us see let us see so Excadrill has a base 88 speed versus glamora who has a base uh 86 speed so we're gonna be able to outspeed you know what i'm gonna go for the iron head and i think i want to go for the flinch i think i want to go for the flinch please come on let's flinch come on let's get a flinchy flinch let's get a little flinchy flinchy come on you know you want a flinchy flinchy uh unfortunately we are gonna get hurt by the rocky helmet uh as they do go for the stealth rocks which does kind of stink however uh i think i do want a rapid spin do i want a rapid spin though Hmm, do I want a rapid spin? Um, I think I'm honestly just, uh, I mean, actually, I should have went for the earthquake. I should have went for the earthquake so the toxic spikes didn't go up. Uh, however, I'm willing to go for the, let's go for the, uh, well, my, my, my air balloon is still intact. So let's go for a safe earthquake. Let's go for a safe earthquake. They are going to spiky shield. That's perfectly fine with me because now we're going to be able to at least uh, not to take some damage from the spiky shield. And the best part about it here is we could probably go for a rapid spin because we still have our what's it called intact. So you know what? I'm going to go for the rapid spin. I'm going to go for the rapid spin here. I don't see them going for a protect or anything. They might switch out. Wow. They land a second spiky shield. Are you absolutely kidding? What are the odds of that? That's like the, oh my gosh, dude, no shot. So unfortunately, does that break our balloon? Technically, that didn't break our balloon, which is super nice. Let me double check if I still have my balloon. Okay, so we still have the balloon, which is super nice. So you know what? Let's go for a rapid spin here. I'd rather get my, uh, I'd rather get them away. So you know what? Plus we're gonna get a little bit faster, which is super nice. And now the best part is now, I don't think it's, unless he goes for a power gem, he has nothing to take us on. He has nothing to take out our, our extra drills. So unfortunately, we're going to get hurt by the Rocky Helmet again. Uh, they What do they go for here? Do they go for Toxic Spikes? 
They're going to go for the Stealth Rock. Wow. Okay, so they knew I was going to go for that. They knew I was going to go for it. Uh, so... They're probably going to go for the, what's it called? I honestly think they're going to go for the spiky shield here, so I'm going to go for the stealth rocks. They do go for the spiky shield. Perfect. We're going to get our free rocks up, and uh, obviously, we're looking really good here. I don't think they're going to land a second spiky shield this time. You know, like, there's no way. Like, there's no shot that they land that again, right? No? Okay, cool. Well, I'm going to go for an Earthquake. I think an Earthquake does take this thing out as it does. Perfect. And that shouldn't release another thing of... It does. Okay, so it does release another thing of uh, Toxic Spikes. However, not super worried about it. Um, now, I, unfortunately, I took the Lumberry off of this Scrafty because I did have the Lumberry. However, I kind of liked Heavy Duty Boots a little bit better. So it's actually better for us. Now that I'm kind of thinking about it. So they're going to go into Ursaluna here. Um, this isn't the worst for us just because he is going to get some stealth rock damage here. I think what I'm going to do here just to play it safe is I think I'm going to go for a rapid spin. I think a rapid spin will probably be our best play just to get those toxic spikes out of the way. And then after that, we send in Swampert because Swampert... Swampert's a good Pokemon. Swampert is like amazing switch for this. So we're gonna uh, get the rapid spin off here, perfect. And that is going to uh, get these uh, these st uh, stealth rocks away, the poison spikes, all that. So you know what? Pleasure doing business. He's gonna go for the headlong rush, and it doesn't affect Excatrill because he never took off the nice and powerful air balloon. You love to see it. You absolutely love to see it. So unfortunately, he is burned now. Uh, so the question is, do we go for the Earthquake or do we go for uh, Iron Head? So looking at his team, looking at his team, looking at his, I mean, to be fair, looking at it, we have a great matchup. We actually have a really good matchup. The only thing is, is... I don't want to preserve. I can't really preserve this thing. So you know what? Let's just get some chip damage off with an earthquake here. Uh, we're gonna easily hit this thing. How much is this doing? Hey, that's doing a, it's doing like close to half. You know what I'm saying? So you know what? I'll take that. So he's gonna hit us with the facade. We don't die. Unfortunately, our air balloon is popped. However, this could be enough damage to put it at least to where the burn range kills. So you know what? I'm gonna go for the earthquake again. I'm going for the earthquake. So we are gonna get the earthquake off. Perfect. And that should put it close to range of being taken out. So that's actually super nice. Now, the thing is, is I could actually go into Scrafty here. I could go into Scrafty. Mm. Do I go into Scrafty? Mm. I could also go into Galvantula. Because actually, you know what? I'm going to go into Galvantula. I'm going to go into Galvantula. And the reason why I want to go into Galvantula is just because I want to get the sticky web up. Now, the only thing is, is tidy up mousehold could be a problem. Tidy up mousehold could be a problem. So you know what? I'm going to go for the free sticky webs here. I feel like it's going to be a very good play just because we are focus sash. And he's probably going to go for a facade or a headlong rush here. Which he does go for the facade. That is A-OK -okay with me. Because all we have to do is just click Volt Switch now. Because there's obviously no hazards. And the best part is this thing should be able to outspeed pretty much everything. Actually... Oh, actually, eh. Okay, so Ursula dies to the burn, which, is, again, I'm cool with that because that's a huge threat out of the way. So we could possibly go into King Gambit. Uh, also could possibly go into the mouse hold for the tidy up. So they're going to go into Garchomp, actually. Ooh. Okay, so that's actually pre... It's not the worst case for us. It's not worst case scenario for us. So I could go for a Bug Buzz here. A Bug Buzz wouldn't be bad. The only thing is I need to look because I don't think we benefit from keeping Galvantula around anymore. The best part is, is if we get rid of this Garchomp, Electroshot Archeladon does work. So also I just realized too is Thunderclap... Um, Thunderclap Roar or uh, Raging Bolt does amazing work against the Flutter Main. So I want to kind of keep that in, in mind, as well as the Population Bomb, um, the Population Bomb Mouse Hold. So, you know what? Let's just go for a Bug Buzz. It's going to be effective damage. Uh, we should be able to do a decent amount. It, hey, listen, it does almost a half. So, you know what? I'm cool with that. So, unfortunately, Garchomp is going to take us out with an Iron Head. That is A OK -okay with me, brother. And do you want to know why that's OK with me? Do you want to know why that's OK? Because now I can just send in my boy. Actually, I could send in Scrafty. 
However, I kind of want to save Scrafty just because Scrafty amazingly takes on the King Gambit. So, you know what? I'm going to keep Scrafty in the back pocket here. You know, I want to keep him around, you know. I feel like he's going to do a little bit of benefiting work, especially with the Mouse Hole too. Because if I can get him in around to get a plus one uh, Dragon Dance in for speed and attack, then I think we can take on Mouse Hole from there. So, you know what I'm going to do here? Uh, I think I'm just going to set up the rain. I feel like the rain's probably going to be the best setup play. Uh, he does go for the Dragon Claw, which Dragon Claw almost takes us out. Uh, however, not the worst case scenario because now, actually, do I go for Liquidation, do you think? Do you think I go for Liquidation? I am Damp Rock. I'm going to go for Liquidation. I think Liquidation takes this thing out. So he's going to go for the Dragon Claw here. Uh, he does not get a high roll, which is super nice. And we get the Liquidation off. Now, unfortunately, I think Swampert does die to the rough skin. There we go. So this is a perfect time, I think, to now go into Archeladon. I think this is a perfect time to go to Archeladon right now. And the best part is if he goes into Flutter Main, Flutter Main can't or Flutter Main can't take or cannot take us out with anything. And we can pretty much take the thing out with an electro shot. Also, could go into my Raging Bolt, aka Mile High, because he's part of the Mile High Club, because that neck is just way up there. Uh, we could go to Mackinac, which, if you don't know what Mackinac is, basically a bridge in Michigan, because I am from Michigan, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to us Michiganders. And but yeah, so I could go into him. I do again. I gotta save Scrafty, bro. I have to save Scrafty for the King Gambit. So they're gonna go into Mouse Hold here, which is a little scary. That is a little scary. But the thing is, if they go for a tidy up here, they're gonna get obliterated. Actually, we outspeed now because of the sticky web. So I think the electro shot here is gonna go crazy. And I, the thing is, I do need to stay. Oh, we get the electro shot off, baby. Let's go. Oh, let's go. And we get the splash or we get the special attack boost from that. Archeladon actually, I think, could sweep the rest of this game. I'm not even I'm not even trolling. I think he could. Wow, it lived that. It lived that. Okay, well, the good thing is we're gonna live the population bomb. We're gonna live the population bomb with super ease. So that's good for us. The only thing is, is wow, he lived that. That is absurd. And, uh, just double checking. Am, am I max? Hold on. Is this is this right? Is this right? Well, the good thing is it's still raining. And how many turns of rain do we still have? Uh, let me go double check that. Um, we still have five turns of rain. We're literally sitting here with ease. We're literally sitting here with ease. So you know what? I'm going to go for the uh, electro shot again. And you know what? We're going to easily take this thing out this time. So we are going to get, again, we're going to get a spe or special attack boost right here. We're in the rain, so it automatically goes off. Oh my gosh, this team is going crazy. Okay, mouse hold down. Perfect. That means we're going to have a minus one on the flutter main. Now, depending if, if, it's, if it's booster for speed, that's where things could get a little crazy. So they are going to go into flutter main here. Flutter main is going to take a little bit of uh, stealth rock here as well as caught in the sticky web. But if they're special attack, I think we're good. Oh, they're not even booster. Oh, they're not even booster. Okay, well, I'm going to go for the flash cannon here. I'm going to go for the flash cannon. And we get the flash cannon off, baby. We do all speed. Let's go. Archeladon is goaded. Archeladon is goaded. Last Pokemon is GG. Last Pokemon is GG. Let's see if GG can get it done. Let's see. Let's see if GG can get it done. So unfortunately, if he goes for Sucker Punch, that may hurt a little bit. However, oh no, I forgot. I was, I meant to put Aura Sphere on here. I had Aura Sphere in the back. Okay, either way, not the worst case scenario because what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna Terra into an electric. Actually, do I Terra electric? Hmm. Because I could save, actually. Hmm. I mean, Scrafty pretty much walls this thing. So you know what? Let's go ahead and go for Electro Shot because the thing is, I don't really want to Terra with Scrafty. And the reason why I don't is because I have Terra Fairy on Scrafty. However, if I just, you know, slightly mess around and mess up and he goes for Iron Head, I'm completely screwed. So you know what? Terra Electric is going to go crazy unless he went for... Oh, wait a minute. He goes for the Terra. What are you? What Terra are you? Are you Terra Dark? Okay, so he wants the maximum damage on this Sucker Punch. 
He wants the maximum damage on this sucker punch. He didn't even go for it. Let's go, baby. Oh, this thing is not living, baby. We'll see you later. We'll see you. We'll see you. We'll see you on the next one. I'm saluting. I'm saluting my other monitor right now. Play the trumpets because this thing is gone. This thing is gone. We'll see you. We'll be seeing you, King Gambit. Dog, Archeladon goes crazy. Oh my gosh, bro. Okay, well, that's going to be GG's. That was super fun. Archeladon in the rain kind of goes crazy. You set up with the uh, with the Galvantula for the little sticky webs, and, and baby, you got yourselves a good match. So again, that's going to be GG's Dylan. Here is going to be the rental code for the team we used in today's Wi-Fi battle. The Poke Pace will be in the description as well. Don't forget to leave a like on today's video if you enjoyed. Subscribe for more Pokemon battles. And let me know in the comments of some Pokemon you want to see us build a team around. Without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and get out of here and start working on the next set of Wi-Fi battles. So please give yourselves a great morning, night, evening, day, wherever you're at. And I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.